Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, today we're going to do a two year review on our Nissan Titan XD. It's a 2018 and it has the 5.6 liter uh, gas motor in it. So stay tuned and hope you enjoy. So we chose this Nissan Titan XD uh, over several other trucks uh, because mostly when I test drove it, it really impressed me. Uh, the amount of power this truck has was unexpected. I knew that it was built a little heavier than your standard half ton, so I decided that uh, I'd test drive it and that was all it took. Before we bought our XD, uh, we had a 2004 GMC Sierra 2500. Uh, turned out the four speed in that truck drove me absolutely crazy. It sounded like it was going to explode every time we go on a trip. It had been driven into the ground pretty much before we got it. It looked good, but that was about all it had going for it. The truck is, is pretty much stock. Um, I'd love to do a lot of things to it, but honestly, we don't have the time or money to spend on that. Um, we got other projects going on. As you may have seen, and if not, check out our other videos and you'll know what I'm talking about. So I've, I've added a few things. Um, these mud flaps, which I know most people won't really care for. They are rally armor mud flaps and they are the cheap universal, just straight rubber mud flap. I bought these because I like to have a clean vehicle and the tires on this truck stick out. It was just throwing crap all over the side of the truck. Every time I turn around it would be dirty. I'd clean it and it would get dirty again and uh, my running boards would just stay caked with mud and dirt and uh, man that, that was really, that really bothered me. So something else we had to add <coughs> were airbags. And uh, put the valves here so I can check the pressures, fill them up before we leave. I didn't get the onboard tank or onboard pump. I just didn't see a need in it. So here's a driver's side bag. They're pretty cool. They really help a lot. So another purchase was uh, these 3D floor mats. I bought these last year. So this back floor mat, it covers the entire floor. It goes under the seat. They are awesome. We have three kids and these things paid for themselves within the first month, I'm, I'm sure. So uh, comparing these to WeatherTechs or Huskies, I've had Husky floor mats. I've never owned a set of WeatherTechs, but I've seen a lot of them, uh, clean cars on the side. And I tell you, I just don't care for them. They're really expensive. And they they roll up. They end up rolling up a few years in. I've had these a full year. They look exactly like they did the day I bought them. They have a, it's, it's made of a different material. It's got this fuzzy feeling stuff on the bottom. They don't move around. They're just really good. I really like them. So my favorite thing that I've added to this truck is this tonneau cover. Uh, I bought the cheapest one I could find because I honestly didn't think I would use it. It's a Tonneau Sport. It rolls up and uh, I love it. It is awesome. It's a, a little more low profile than the others. Um, but honestly it was $200 and that's why I was interested in it. And I wanted to roll up so I could roll it up here and it wouldn't block my back window. And so far, it has been wonderful. So here it is rolled up, nice out of the way. Um, I can see out of the back glass. The whole reason for buying the truck was to was for towing. You know, we, we wanted a truck that was built for towing, and this is definitely built for towing. So the gooseneck hitch, we thought for sure we'd have a fifth wheel at some point. We did end up upgrading to a 34-foot gooseneck car hauler and this truck tows it great so we have 
loaded our gooseneck down with a side-by-side -side and all the upgrades we made to it, living space and all. And uh, I'm sure it was over the limit. Don't tell anybody. But uh, we towed it around and not very far, maybe 10, 15 miles. But starting off, it started off just like it does normally with no extra weight in it. It just did really well and I, I think the truck's very underrated. It's a shame. Um, the payload on this truck is, is pretty good for, you know, like a heavier half ton, I guess is what it's considered. Uh, but I think Nissan could have gotten away with making this a three quarter ton truck. Uh, this is an SV trim. And the SV trim was fine with me. I was looking a, uh, not a base model Ford, but a step up from that. And this fit the bill. Not a big fan of the radio. The navigation's, it's stopped working. I need to take it to the dealer and see what they can do to it. I'll show you that later when I start it up. Uh, but the truck came with heated seats, which to me means a lot. Just overall, it, it came with a lot more options for the money than what you get with a Ford or any other truck that I looked at. So as you can see, this is our uh, drive report. It gives you this every time you turn the truck off. It does go away when you open the door. So anyway, the best I've gotten was 22.3, I believe is what that said. And uh, I don't, I don't, that's, that's not real. <laughs> I don't know how we got that, but anyway, I normally, driving this truck, get around 15 to 16 on the highway. Um, towing, I normally get, uh, Anywhere from seven to nine, I've seen more, I've seen less. Just depends on where we're going and what we're towing. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna start the truck up. Hopefully you can hear it on the mic. Uh, the truck's got a really good sound. The engine has a great sound to it. Um, it's probably not gonna be very evident on the camera, but uh, here we go. Normally I have a pop-up here that says GPS not found. So I've got some kind of issue going on there. So a few other options this truck has that other trucks didn't have. Uh, we've got the sensors on the bumpers, which really help. Uh, also the blind spot detectors, blind spot sensors, whatever they are. It has the, see the little emblem in the mirror there at the top left corner. You know, those light up when a car is in your blind spot. I thought that was pretty neat for a uh, mostly base model truck. The truck has uh, 28,000 miles on it. I put 18,000 on it the first year we had it um, because of COVID and probably just because of COVID, we really haven't traveled as much this year. So one thing about this truck is uh, I, I was talking about the sound earlier. It has a really good sound when you're moving down the road. But when it sits in idles, it sounds like a diesel. And uh, it's, it's really confusing. Uh, so let's see if you can tell that on the camera here. There's the old diesel sound. As far as towing, this truck has been awesome. It feels good. It is so strong. I've yet to tow anywhere or tow anything that I didn't feel comfortable towing. Um, We've had two different campers. Our first one was a uh, 20, it was a 27 foot 270 LE Keystone. Um, this truck towed it like it wasn't there. The next camper we got was a Grand Design uh, Transcend and it was a 29, 29 foot. Um, so really that's in the travel trailer world, you add about four or five feet to those numbers. So we were a little over 36 feet with that trailer. And that was a bumper pull tag along. Um, 
it was a it was long it was a long trailer it was a whole lot to deal with truck pulled it great no problems at all no issues uh, plenty of power so we got rid of that and we upgraded to a gooseneck car hauler and now we're just building our own camper building our own living quarters in there uh, so the our car hauler that we have is a 34 foot and the unloaded weight which I'll show you on the screen um, it is very comparable to the transcend we had and uh, it pulls a great it pulls better than than the transcend because it's a gooseneck all your weight is over the axle makes a huge difference never thought that would be uh, the case but man it's a it's night and day okay so uh, I've had one major problem with the truck I was under it I noticed on one of the uh, axles the front axles on the boot the CV boot um, there was fluid on it like dripping out of it so I took it in the next week um, they looked at it they said that there was I can't remember what it was what the problem was the bad seal or, or something was going on so when the dealership reinstalled the new axle uh, it wasn't installed correctly the next week I was in my yard and I hadn't tried four-wheel drive since they repaired it I put it in four-wheel drive and I had a bit of a hill where I was living at the time then uh, drove up the hill and made a sharp right and as soon as I did it popped really loud and I'll show you some pictures of that so basically the, the shaft wasn't installed correctly something popped something didn't work out and uh, I called the dealership and told them what was going on they sent a roll back they picked the truck up took it back to the to the dealership reinstalled a new drive shaft and i've never had another problem with it um it was really annoying that i had to get it towed back to the dealership it was annoying that i had to take it back twice but i have to say nissan did an awesome job of taking care of me um the truck also has always had a, a bit of a, a shake to it and it's always pulled right very slightly but it's done it um so anyway that those are both pretty annoying i've had the dealership check that out they they found nothing wrong with it of course um my hope is that when the tires are replaced a lot of that will go away maybe the shaking anyway and it's very slight and it's only when you're running on the interstate you'll notice it some I don't really notice it when I'm daily driving so my number one complaint with this truck is the gas tank size uh, we really like to travel um, we've traveled to Florida we're in North Carolina we've traveled to Florida we traveled to West Virginia we travel all over and we we plan to go even further if we can um, the gas tank size is not adequate for towing a camper and traveling. So uh, Nissan, please, please get a bigger gas tank for these trucks. And just upgrade the truck overall. Make it a three-quarter ton or a one ton, I'd buy another one. I absolutely would. Uh, unfortunately, we're going to outgrow the capacities on this truck. If we ever buy a side-by-side -side and load our trailer down um, I know it'll pull it it'll do fine unfortunately uh, you get in an accident with an overloaded trailer and I'm a little worried insurance wouldn't cover it so to me that's not worth the risk so uh, overall great truck love it if you're looking for a truck to tow a camper a travel trailer a small fifth wheel this is an amazing option if you have a travel trailer now and you're looking to upgrade to a larger fifth wheel or a toy hauler you're going to outgrow this truck before you can get those um, and and by outgrow i mean the capacities for this truck just aren't going to handle it legally so if you have any questions about the truck uh, please leave a comment below and i'll be sure to get back to you on that um, i hope you guys got something out of the video 
And if you did, please be sure to like the video. Also, if you will, check out our other content. I think we've got some pretty cool things going on, especially with our car hauler. Uh, and if you like those, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you guys.